Welcome back to episode three of the Tim Tabernacle Road to the Show. We are joining him in progress in his pro debut for the Richmond Flying Squirrels, the AA affiliate of the San Francisco Giants. Now, I, guys, I lost a little bit of footage here. This is still carrying on from the previous episodes. I think everything's good kind of after this, but I, you know, missed his first inning. It was a clean inning for those wondering. Ten pitches, no hits, nothing, no walks, no strikeouts, just th- three up, three uh, Three up, three down real quick. Uh, we join him now in progress. Bottom of the second, though. Two on, one out, and in a little bit of trouble here. And so, you know, Tabernacle doesn't have overpowering stuff. And so I'm figuring he's going to have to figure out a way to kind of work without overpowering stuff. But he gets a massive strike out there on three pitches, leaves the batter frozen. Uh, I will admit uh, there's another strikeout, by the way, to c- close it off and strand those two runners. I will admit I don't know everybody on you know the double-A rosters. I kind of know the big guys. Byron Buxton is not in for the New Britain Rockcats. It's a minor league affiliate for the, uh, for the Minnesota Twins. Miguel Sano is, and he's definitely the best player. But I don't know all of these guys, and I know quite a bit uh, of the player pool in baseball, but I still don't know all these guys. So I just, you know, if I say he strikes out that guy, you're just going to have to go with it in the double A and triple A. In the majors, uh, you know, I'll know everybody, uh, or, or, you know, when created players come up as, as his series progresses. You know, I'll, t- I'll take care to know who that is. But uh, in, in the double-A and triple-A, let's, let's be a little easy on not knowing everybody. But this is Miguel Sano, and a massive at-bat against him gasses him. Uh, with that big slider, I shouldn't say gasses him, I guess. I should say, you know, fools him with that slider. That's Burying that slider in on righties, I've already mentioned it several times in, in just the three episodes. That's going to be the key for Tabernacle. Because obviously if that fades back out over the plate, it's going to get crushed a lot, but if you can bury it in uh, with that last second break, they're going to be swinging over a lot of balls. Um, and I'm really surprised early on, you know, you see this tough at bat here with two on, no outs in the bottom of the fourth, but he gets the strikeout. That's the same slider, obviously, to a lefty that, you know, you get them chasing, flailing after. And then here, a massive key double play to get out of the jam. Two jams in a row. Tabernacle wiggles out. You know, he, he faced adversity, but he always answered the challenge. And at this point, I believe uh, Richmond is still being no hit. So that's even the crazier thing is that his team is being no hit. So everything that he's doing is very important. Getting out of these jams, they don't have anything, you know, uh, on the board just yet. He flashed a little D there that you just saw in that play. But then this one, that's, that's, that's the hanger right there. And that's what happens when he doesn't have overpowering stuff. When it's left fat, if that command is wonky within the zone, he's going to get crushed. I believe that's Brad Nelson, a former, uh, you know, kind of prospect. I want to say he started over in the Milwaukee system. Has some pop, but he's been bouncing around. Another big strike out there. Uh, I want to say that's about five or six now for Tabernacle through the fifth. Uh, But again, Richmond still getting no hit until... Boom, By top of the six, they did their damage. They got some hits, two runs, so now Tabernacle's working with some, as we see now, six strikeouts through five on just five hits. He's facing Snow again, and uh, he does have a hit by pitch. So maybe it wasn't a one, two, three first inning there. I think it was uh, the hit by pitch came in that first inning, so he got four outs on the ten pitches. Although maybe it would have would it have listed the hit by pitch under walks. I Technically not uh, a, a real walk there. So, But he just cuts up Sano again here uh, to, to come back from a 2-0 count and really fight back into it. Now he goes 3-1 and you figure, well, it's nobody on. First batter, if you walked him, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but don't back down. Don't give in. That change up there, nice pitch. So now you got full count. What can you do with it? Boom! Backdoor fastball on the outside. 89, you know, it, it, it's not special, folks, but it's all about the command and control for, for Tabernacle. S- still bottom of the six, two outs, one on. Base on the lefty here obviously has a big advantage. You see him ramp up to 93 there and then dial down to 77 with that slider away. Again, changing speeds, changing eye levels, that's how it's going to work for him. This is not some sort of, you know, Roger Clemens type who can just gas people. He doesn't have that. And yet, look at how many strikeouts he's piling up right now. I think he's up, yeah, nine. Nine strikeouts through seven innings. His team got him another run here. 
So we're looking at him now in the bottom of the eighth. 95 pitches, though, too. And and he's a slight guy, 5'8", uh, 180, I think. Uh, so, you know, it's pretty short, a little bit thicker, though, f- f- for that particular size. And there's an infield single, unfortunately. Um, but you, you wonder where stamina comes in with a guy like that. And I'm not sure how sophisticated the game is with regards to size mattering. You know, some 6'5", 260-pound guy, more of a workhorse type compared to Tabernacle. But if your stamina is 70 and 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 so is that big guys is it going to matter in the game probably not but uh i i still am surprised to see him working up this many pitches he scattered some hits he's been in some trouble uh, now hits the 100 pitch mark got that one on no out two two count big big pitch here and can they get another double play yeah boom that is huge that's huge i mean there's really no way around it. That's huge, particularly with Sano coming up. Now you see the message, Tabernacle getting a little bit tired. He's got to face his nemesis here. And what can he do with him? Can he get him out? Because hold, you know, neutralizing him has definitely helped. Because he's, like I said, scattering hits all around. He's been in jams, but he's gotten out of them. That pitch count, though, it's coming up. That's a big hit. He wants to go out there and chase it. Let me get that. I'll catch that says Tabernacle, and then no. Lazy fly to right field. It's done. Good job on Sano. Now we, we're going to join in the bottom of the ninth. 104 pitches. I'm thinking at this point, any mistake that Tabernacle makes, manager's coming out. Right there, base hit. Here comes the manager for sure. Oh, no. Okay, okay, here we go. 105 pitches, one on, nobody out. Still has his uh, little control bonus meter there too with the thicker. Double play ball? Nope. Outruns it. Okay. Even then, I thought the manager would come out, though. Again. But no. They're giving it. This is Tabernacle's game. And he's just pounding the strike zone. Oof. Tough one there. A lot of calls on the edge here. And I like the dynamic umpire, but man, did he miss, uh, you know, what I thought were a lot of calls in Tabernacle's favor. And obviously it didn't hurt him that much because he's still, you know, close to a shutout here with a big strikeout. I believe that's his 10th of the game. And now he's one out away from a, from a complete game shutout, which I guess is redundant because if it's a shutout, it was a complete game. But from a shutout in his pro debut... Now he's got 0-2 here. Can he get his 11th strikeout? Bust that slider in. Oh, he scoots out of the way. you got to swing over the top of that. Come on, buddy. Don't mess with the knack. Oh, gets just a piece of that. That happened a lot in this debut. A lot of foul balls that... Oof. And just a single. Well played by the first baseman there. That'll wrap it up. That's a big. That's a big first effort. That surprised me. I have I have not had that kind of success with anybody out of the gate in Road to the Show, and like I've got I've had several guys. Look at that effort there. Scatters eight hits over nine innings, doesn't walk a soul, strikes out ten on 115 pitches. I like that though. I don't like having the hard and fast, you know, 100 or anything just above. Got to get them out. No, give them a chance to throw, because you know it's all about when you know the fatigue level of when the pitches are coming, right? Because he had his trouble early, but as it got late, there weren't as many jams. I think there was only one jam in, in the in the latter portion there. You see he only gave up two hits in the final three innings, uh, had had just two strikeouts. Really that mid-area of the game uh, where the hits were – those two couple of innings where he had two hits allowed. So just a big first effort there. This one ran a little bit long. I'll try to shorten them up a little bit. Uh, But that's Tim Tabernacle. There's his pro debut. Come back. We'll take a look at what, what he does as he continues.